from CFS. We are waiting for uh, Madhula Mukherjee, Professor Madhula Mukherjee. She is in a meeting uh, upstairs. She is just about to come and join us. But in the meanwhile, I am very happy to tell you our both the guests, Chief Guest and uh, the one presiding, they are so prompt. They were here, in fact, a few minutes before. So may I, in the meanwhile, uh, request uh, Mr. Mani Shankar Ayer and Professor uh, Mushal Hassan to please come and on the stage and uh, give it. How, how you do what you do and get away with it. Maybe you tell us a little bit of your secrets <laughs> uh, today. <laughs> so I'm sure you are a role model for many things. But we would certainly like uh, to hear some of the insight. Uh, stories uh, of that. But actually, I can't think of a better person uh, who could uh, talk about envisioning India, especially the emphasis on vision in this institution. As we all know, Nehru, one of the most significant features of uh, his work. At I am very privileged to, uh, to be here and to have this opportunity of chairing this lecture being delivered by Mani Shankar Ayer. I'm also delighted that the center is honoring him and recognizing his extremely important role in public affairs. And I hope that at the end of his lecture, uh, you will be able to get a sense of uh, his analysis, uh, his deep analysis. in Maoist 
on naturalized violence. Of which about 35 districts have spun so far out of the control of government that they have virtually become the fiefdom of the insurgents. Where in the 50s it was possible to build the Hirangu Dam without a whimper from the Austies and consider such multi purpose projects the modern temples of India, I would hazard the prediction that the Sardar Sarovar Dam on the Narmada is the last such dam that will be built in mainland India owing to extreme public anger at the failure of rehabilitation and resettlement schemes. We have seen in Odisha the single largest foreign investment made in India or by South Korea outside their country, namely the POSCO project, stored for years because the local people say enough is enough. We don't want any part in such development. We don't believe your false promises anymore. The spin-off is seen in the halting of the efforts of the Tatars, SR, Lashmi Mittal, and Vedanta to enter the highly lucrative mining business in the forests of Dandakarana. Such projects may be lucrative for promoters and lucrative for the government's poverty line, APM. This is comfortable for two reasons. First, poverty alleviation can then be reduced to the entirely feasible proposition of shifting some top-of-the-line BPL over the line into the APL category and calling it poverty alleviation. So you go from 10 rupees 30 paise, where you are poor, your BPL, to 11 rupees and your APL. And you say that all those who have gone from 10 rupees 30 paise to uh, 11 rupees constitute your achievement in raising so many percentage of the people above the poverty line. It also has the consequence of giving economists the right to say that this dreadful state-run socialist pattern leads to leakages. Well, it will lead to leakages. If you tell a poor person that I don't regard you as poor, but he regards himself as poor, then he will go to his democratically elected representative and say, don't you think I'm poor? And the MLA or MP will say, well, it's self-evident that you are poor, even if Dr. Montek Singh otherwise... I'm uh, much more concerned about elite capture of the higher echelons of our democracy than I am about local governments. There is a tendency on the part of those who worry about elite capture to assume that there is no elite capture. But uh, the kind of elite capture that I have been witnessing from very, very close quarters, you see that revealed in the what's called media gate, how top journalists, top PR people, top politicians, top corporate honchos are all chatting with each other on the telephone about how the system could be supported. I don't know that it was. That we wait for the outcome eventually. Chairperson and P. N. Vasanti, who is the director. Thank you very much.